and girls, it's Miss Beth, and today is story time day. <gasps> but guess what else? It is a new season. Last time we talked a little bit about that it was coming, but it is actually here. Spring is here. Woohoo! We're always so excited for a new season because that means summer is coming, and then fall will be here, and then winter will be here, and then we'll be back at spring. So this is always very exciting, especially to me. All right, we're gonna read two books today, and they're both gonna be on spring. This one is gonna be spring weather. We're gonna talk about weather in spring, and it's by Julie Murray, and it's an adobo season spring cheer for kids. All right, the publisher is Adobo Kids. So there you have it. All right, spring weather, good rain boots. Those are good to wear in the spring. Spring weather. Spring is here. Lynn plays outside. It can be rainy. Maya uses her umbrella. What color is that umbrella? That is correct. It is pink. It can be windy. Lila's pinwheels spin. Here's her pinwheel, and it's spin around and round and round. Those are fun, I love them. But look at, she has a whole bunch. It can be hot and sunny. Carlos wears shorts. Just like the other day, it was nice and hot and warm and beautiful. And today is rainy and colder. Spring weather changes all the time. It can be cool and cloudy. Lola wears a jacket. Now, we don't see too many flowers yet, just a little. They're starting to poke up and they're starting to bud just a little bit, but we're not quite this far yet. It can even snow. Luke builds a snowman. We're hoping that's over, but it could still snow. The good part about snow now is that it won't last very long. It's only gonna be here for just a little bit and then it will melt right away if it does snow. There can be thunderstorms. They make a loud boom. See the lightning and the thunder? You can't see the thunder. You hear the thunder, but you can see the lightning. Sometimes that can be scary, but most of the time you're gonna be fine. Tornadoes can happen too. They make strong winds. What spring weather do you have? Well, right now we have all what they just said. We had a little snow, we had some warm, now we're back to rainy and a little bit cool. So that is the kind of weather that we have been having. All right, and that is the end of spring weather. Now, let's talk about spring plants. And this one is spring plants. Let's see, it is written by M. J. York and John Willis. And the publisher is AV2 Books. Um, and they just say added value, audio, visual. I guess you can go online and maybe take a look at these. All right, plants. Sunshine and rain. It is spring. The days are longer. The sun feels warmer. And here is a fun fact. Washington, D.C. hosts the National Cherry Blossom Festival every spring. Oh my goodness, look how gorgeously beautiful that is. Many plants slept during winter. They wake up in spring, they grow again. So these are called little crocuses and you might 
see some of those. I was taking um, Ella for a walk this morning and I saw some crocuses starting to poke up and start to bloom. So this is a flower that you can watch out for. They're just little, they're not very big. It rains often in spring. Rain helps plants grow. And here's a fun fact. Hawaii has the most rain of any of the United States. New plants begin to sprout. Grass grows. Lawns, lawns turn green with thick grass. Rabbits eat the grass. Soon flowers bloom. Bees and other insects visit flowers. And here's a fact. There are more than 4,000 different kinds of bees in the United States. I did not know that. I learned something today. I hope you did too. We plant seeds in gardens. Farmers plant their crops. Trees also grow in spring. Leaves grow on trees. Pine trees grow new needles. build nests and trees. Spring is here and our last fun fact is the world's biggest bald eagle nest weighed as much as a hippopotamus. That's so big. That is so big. All right now you have it. Plants of spring. We learned two things today. We learned about spring weather and plants. I am Miss Beth and I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day and I cannot wait to see you again. Go out and explore and find some of these things that we were talking about today. It'll be good. Put your rain boots on if you have them. If not, that's okay. Have a great day.